All right, we also have big news this morning on the vaccine front. Overnight, the CDC approved booster shots for both the Johnson & Johnson and Moderna vaccines. They also gave the green light to mixing and matching the different vaccines. Now, there have been a lot of developments this week, so we figured it's the perfect time to bring back Asked and Answered. We've got mm -hmm. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar here to help. Dr. Aze, good to see you. Good morning. Right. Did so, we just make that up? Dr. Dr. Aze. Aze. Dr. Aze. Aze. Dr. Aze. Aze. Dr. Aze. Dr. Aze. All right. Anyway, uh, so, so what exactly did the CDC approve when it comes to boosters and now can can everybody get them yeah so not everybody can get them we'll start with johnson and johnson because that's the easiest mm -hmm. they cdc and fda has clearly said that anyone who was the recipient of one johnson and johnson should get a booster shot of johnson and johnson or an mrna vaccine um, and for moderna it's very similar to pfizer there are select groups 65 and older people at high risk because of their occupation or live in long-term care facilities um, should get a booster shot as well they still maintain, however, that protection against severe disease, hospitalization, and death remains robust, but we do see that waning immunity, especially in older people. Okay. Let's get to some viewer questions. We have okay. one from Brooke on Twitter about mixing and matching. Yep. Everybody's asking about it. She says, with mixing and matching probably going to be allowed, should someone who had two shots of Moderna get a booster of Moderna or switch to Pfizer? So, Fair question. Right. We could literally spend all hour yeah. on mixing and matching. This is what everybody wants to know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to divide it into what we know and what we don't know. Okay. What we know is that... Um, if you do a different boost from the initial thing that you got, so if you mixed and matched, your, the likelihood of you getting the same or a greater antibody response two weeks later is higher if you do a mix and match. Okay. But what we don't know is whether or not those antibodies actually translate into better protection mm. or more vaccine effectiveness. Mm. So the whole, I think, the CDC and FDA was very clear about the fact that they were not going to specify a preference for what combination to get, but they want to make it allowable to do the mix and match. Primarily because, listen, for administration, if you're in a nursing oh, yeah. home, how are they going to be able yeah. to exactly, right? Um, and if you walk into a pharmacy sure. and you want to get whatever mm. they have, and I want to just, of course, identify those two populations. Women of childbearing age who received a Johnson & Johnson because of the clotting issue may want to elect to get an mRNA. And for young men who received an mRNA because of the Which myo one's the mRNA? The, the Pfizer, Pfizer and the, the Moderna. Pfizer. Okay, okay, okay. Remember that was associated yep, yep. with myocarditis in oh, younger men? Okay. That they may want to choose an alternative like a Johnson & Johnson. So it's basically allowing people to make a choice, mm -hmm. of course, obviously, with the guidance of your health care Really provider. quickly, though, you mixed and match. I did mix yeah. and match. I had yep. Pfizer to begin with, got Moderna, had no side effects or anything like that. Yep. In fact, you seem, you okay. seem better than you did before. <laughs> wow, which doesn't say much. Uh, and a one. <laughs> Mary, we've got a, a viewer question from Mary. This is a video question. I'm in my 70s, and I did get vaccinated early on in the year. About three weeks ago, I tested positive for COVID, feeling much better now. But my question is, should I rush off and get the booster shot, or do you think I should wait a little bit longer? That's a good question. That's a yeah. very good question. We're glad Mary's on the That's such well. a good question. And of course, always with me, I'm sorry, there's a few answers embedded in here. Okay. But, um, you know, there is this concept of hybrid immunity, meaning if you get sick with COVID and then you get a vaccine, your immunity is better than if you got to vaccine alone or infection alone. But we don't know if the reverse is true, meaning what happened to her? She had a breakthrough infection. Mm -hmm. And we don't know whether a breakthrough infection on top of a vaccine mm. actually bolsters that immunity from the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So the, the rule of thumb, I think, here is that she's in a group that is eligible for a booster because she's 70. I think she should go ahead and get a booster. We generally say with the vaccine or a booster, about 10 days after symptoms began or a positive test, you can already get your booster. If you got monoclonal antibodies or convalescent plasma, you got to wait 90 days before you can get a vaccine or a booster. Wow. Mm, okay. We're going to do this almost every day. Next time, we're going we're gonna to allow more time for this. So. Know, we, we, we have more questions. There's so many questions. I know. We need I know. a calendar. Sorry, keep track. So, right. I can't Thank keep you. it short. I think yeah. I have to do a little Instagram. No, it's important. Right. I know. Live. <laughs> That's right. Dr. Natalie Azar. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.